And just like that's how you go broke, y'all. I've been waiting for this hair forever. Oh my god. I just like this. Hey yo, what's good? It's your boy Sakers. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also don't forget to give the video a thumbs up while you're down there. So this video is actually a continuation of my vlog that I posted on my other channel, which will be uploaded tomorrow. Today should be Monday as far as when this video should go up. So tomorrow the vlog will be up on Tuesday on my other channel, which is Yo, It's Randy, which the link to the channel is down below. So if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe to that channel as well, go ahead and click on the link, subscribe to it. And also don't forget to turn your notifications on for that channel as well. So you guys don't miss that video. So by the beginning clip of this video, you guys know that I got a pair of Balenciagas and also by the thumbnail, you guys probably already know which ones they are one thing i had to say about the sneakers that i've been wanting the sneaker forever like i can't say ever since i saw the sneaker that i've always wanted it because i really didn't like it at first but now when i seen a lot more people wearing it and i seen it in person i thought the sneaker was dumb fire unfortunately it was actually very hard to get because this is the second one that came out of this style and this color and that sneaker is this balenciaga right here it is called the balenciaga speed trainer i did get it in the black colorway they also had a white colorway in stores however the white just wasn't popping to my eyes too much and on top of that i knew it, if i got it dirty i would be so bummed out and these are black so if they get dirty on the top it won't matter too much to me plus these sneakers are very very expensive i paid i think around 800 dollars after taxes for these in miami design district which these sneakers i don't think you can find in stores anymore you can find some online maybe but they're really weird sizes and i was able to get these because the store just opened up last friday which is a week ago from today and a lot of people don't know that that store opened so that's why i was lucky enough to get my pair and i knew that i had to get it because if i didn't get it now i wouldn't have got it ever or i would have to pay resale for it and that means it's gonna be more expensive than it already was and on top of that it's just gonna be really hard to find because these alone the first ones were very hard to find and the first ones is pretty much the same thing except these black parts are white and i could have got those for cheaper but i think i like the black more it makes the sneakers stand out a lot more like it makes it pop so before i get into the sneaker review i do want to talk about the box real quick and what comes with it and also the experience so when i got into the store i saw a pair of triple s's on the floor right in front of the entrance and i knew that they would have some hype stuff in there because those were in there and honestly those are nice in person but i just don't see myself wearing them because they're really bulky and if you guys don't know what sneaker that is it is this sneaker right here there's been a lot of people wearing them nowadays but unfortunately they just don't fit me personally like they don't fit my style and as soon as i walked in i was looking straight for the sneaker and i saw it i was so happy because i knew that they had it part of me was like hopefully they have my size because i really want the sneaker and part of me was like all right, i hope they don't have it so i don't have to spend all this money right now because it was a lot in the end they ended up having a full-size run of this colorway the white one they didn't have a 41 they had a 40 i just didn't like the white one so i went with this one like i said and i tried the 41 on at first which they are in italian sizing that's why the sizing sounds so weird and it was a little bit big but once i put this one which is a 40 on it felt so perfect to my foot and the comfort was ridiculous, which is something that I'll get into when I get into the sneaker review. So the sneaker comes in this box right here. It is an all white box and all it says is bounce jog on the lid. The box is easily dirty and also easily damaged. As you guys can see, there's already some creasing right there. But anyways, other than the bounce jog on top, we do have a size tag on the side of the box. It shows a picture of the sneaker, has a barcode, another barcode there. And then it says male right there in Italian, if I'm not mistaken. It says sneaker Tesgoma. Don't know what that is half of these words i can't even read because i'm pretty sure it is in italian but anyways the box is pretty much just a regular box with a top that comes off and we'll go ahead and put that to the side when we open it up here the sneakers do come right there but actually before the sneakers there is this dust bag i'm going to show you that comes on top so the way the paper opens is pretty cool it comes back this way and it does say balenciaga in there and then this wing goes that way and then this one goes this way and like I said, here's a dust bag that comes inside the box at first is what you see. It is fairly big so you can fit both sneakers in there and you can carry them. You do look boss as hell when you have both sneakers in a balanced jogging bag and you're just walking around with it. But the probability of you using this bag is very unlikely unless you use it for some other stuff. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the box. All the other stuff that's in here is just paper and the receipt. The receipt comes in like this little envelope. They fold it up nice and neat for you. And as you can see, it's authentic Balenciaga store. Miami Design District right there. You guys can read it. And there's the address and whatever other they definitely spelled my name wrong. I don't know how they did that. But there you guys can see the price tag of $802. So you guys don't think I'm lying and think I bought a fake pair of Von Saugus. No, that's not what I do. So before I get into the sneaker, I just want to talk about what comes inside of it. First of all, it's this long ass shoe tree, but it's actually another paper. And then comes this, which goes around the ankle part of the sock, which is just meant to hold it up. So it has a shape. Anyway, that's enough of the box. Let's get on to the actual sneaker. Here we have the sneaker itself. The Balenciaga Speed Trainer. I was lucky enough to get the one with the older font, which is this right here, it says Balenciaga. The newer font is 
a lot more like modern and uglier and I just don't like it. It's way too big and it's more blockier and I just like the original logo. That's like the original Balenciaga logo and that's exactly what I wanted and exactly what I got. So pretty much this is going to be a quick review since there's really not much to review about it. It's a really simple sneaker. So on the upper, it's pretty much just a knit sock, but it is a really thick knit and it does hug really well to your foot if you get the right size. Like I said earlier, I got a size 40 and it hugged my foot way better than the 41, even though the 41 all it really was was a little bit longer and I think it was a little bit bigger on the upper, but the 40 fit perfectly and there's a drastic difference between the two sizes. Like the 40 and the 41, it was like, this is a 40 and the 41 came out to like this much more and that's very big and it didn't feel as comfortable on my feet. I actually felt like they were slipping off. On the back we have the stitching where of course the sock has to close and on the inside here, it's pretty much the same thing. They put like a patch in there. However, this does get a little uncomfortable when it's on your feet because it just feels kind of weird. It feels like it's stabbing the back of your foot. Not terribly, but it, it is not the most comfortable part of the shoe. Everything else is comfortable except this part. And of course we have the Balenciaga right here on the side part of the toe. And it is just a stamp on, but it's stamped on really well. It's like my Kiss shirt that I have on right here. It's this kind of stamp. It is not screen printed, which I think it actually looks better stamped on because you're not gonna be washing this, so it's not gonna come off unless you really just try to trash the shoe. This, if I wash it probably like a hundred times, it'll probably come off. Since this is Kith, I think the quality will last and the stamp will last on there. Going out to the midsole, we do have this runner look to it. As far as the material goes, I'm gonna go ahead and be safe and just say it's rubber. It is a very stiff rubber. However, it does not make the shoe uncomfortable. As a matter of fact, this rubber is a lot more stiffer. So that means that this outsole is gonna be very durable. So the midsole does have like that runner look to it. And that's why it has all those lines and creases and stuff as you guys can see right there. It gives the shoe character, like it's not too plain. And then the also being black does give it more character as well. And I think that's why I ended up buying this one over the other one that's just all white because it does make the sneaker stand out a lot more. On the back, it's what it looks like. It says Balenciaga embossed into the white midsole. And on the toe, we just have like these little holes in there. I think it's for grip and you have that on the bottom as well. And I think all those little holes are just for grip and everything else is just there for just decoration pretty much. And in the middle of the outsole, we have the Balenciaga embossed in there. And now that I see it, this is the logo that was printed on the other pair. And I did not like it. Like this is the older logo, this original logo. And this is a newer logo that they updated. I think that's a 2018 updated logo. And one more thing I forgot was the insole, which is actually really difficult to put in. I didn't want to take it out, but I guess I'll do it for the purpose of this video. Here on the bottom, it does say 40 printed on there. You guys can't really see it. Actually, you guys can see it better than I can. It's kind of hard to see in person. It pretty much just like a weird cloth texture on the insole. And then you do have the Balenciaga, the size, and then made in Italy stamped in there. So that means this is from Italy. Balenciaga it comes from Italy. Same place as Gucci. And the bottom of the outsole is just green, like you guys saw before. Pretty simple, nothing crazy. And it's insane because the sneaker is so simple and all you're really paying for is a name, which is Balenciaga, and the service, which I forgot to mention to you guys. When I was buying the sneaker, they did offer me and my friend a glass, not even a glass, it was like a glass bottle of water. It was already enclosed. It was like Avion water, which I think is some expensive water. I'm not too sure. I really don't buy water like that. I kind of just get out the fridge. Water ain't that special to me. And not only that, but they offered me between flat water or sparkling water. I was like, damn, y'all are like serious. Like this, the customer service was great. Unfortunately, there was only one guy helping me out and he was also helping another customer out, which I think there could have been more, but I think he was the only sales associate on the floor as far as the first floor goes, because they had a second floor, which I completely forgot to check out. And I should have, because I'm sure they had men's clothing, but I'm sure I'll go back another day. It's definitely a place I'm going to see myself shopping a lot more now, because I hate going to the small designer stores because they don't really have much, but Miami design district has hella stores. They have really big stores. They had Gucci, they had Louis Vuitton, they had Fendi, they had Todd's, they had Rolex, they had Balenciaga's, Louboutin, every single big designer brand you can think of. But anyways, that's enough talking. I know you guys want to see how these look on feet. Let's go ahead and go on to those shots. I just like the sound.
I hope you guys enjoyed those on foot shots. Today's fan of the day does go to Jeffrey Diaz de Leon. If you want to be fan of the day, all you gotta do is subscribe to this channel, make sure you turn notifications on, and also leave a positive comment on my latest video to have the chance to become a fan of the day for my next video. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video and also those on foot shots, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy, Singer, signing out.